Hey everybody! Welcome to Booze Clues. She's crazy. Hey Miss Linda. Hi I was, everybody. I was sitting here thinking to myself that one day when I grow up, I want to be so many things. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a chef. I want to be a bus driver. I want to drive the garbage truck. I think I want to be a chair. A chair? Well, oh yeah, I guess I can't. That's not an occupation, is it? Hmm. An I'm occupation, Miss Linda, is a job that you can do oh, yeah. when you grow up. Yeah. So I probably can't be a refrigerator either. No. No. What do you have in your hand? Oh, well, <laughs> this is a book about Harry Monster. And it's called, I Want to Be a Police Officer. I thought maybe we'd read it today. You want to read it with me? Okay. Okay. It's a Sesame Street book. They're always fun. I Want to Be a Police Officer by Lisa Alexander and illustrated by David Prebena. Prebena. That's a fun name to say. While we're going through this book, I want you to think again about characters. So characters are the figures in the book. Now, they might be realistic or they might be imaginary, but you can decide. They're still characters. I also want you to think about the setting of the story. Where did it happen? What's going on in, in, in the story? That's the setting. I want you to think about occupations. Like Miss Leona was saying, Occupations is a really big word for jobs. Maybe jobs that you'd like to have someday. Another thing I want you to think about is responsibility. Your mom might say sometimes, Leona, can you be more responsible? She might say, did you forget your backpack again? Can you try to be more responsible? Responsible means doing the things that you should be doing that you can do. Mm -hmm. So right now, my responsibility is to read you this book. I want to be a police officer. Hi, my name is Harry Monster. And do I have a story for you. One day, Elmo and I were riding our bikes in the park. We were riding so fast. We were riding slow. We were zigging. We were zagging. We were having fun. Suddenly, it happened. Crash! Elmo fell off his bike and onto the hard ground. He began to cry. Oh no, Elmo had hurt himself. At first I panicked, but then I remembered what my mommy told me to do. In an emergency, call 911. I saw a phone nearby. I rushed over. I picked up the receiver. Mm, went the phone. That was the dial tone. So it was time for me to push the numbers. Nine, one, one. Hello, said the operator. Harry Monster here, I answered. I'm calling to rep report an emergency. Elmo fell off his bike. He might be badly hurt. We're in Sesame Street Park by the water fountain near the tree that says, Sarah loves John. Mm -hmm. There it is on the tree. Sarah loves John. 
He gave good instructions, didn't he? In no time at all, we heard a siren. Rrr, rrr. A police car zoomed up. Out jumped P police officer Diaz. She patrolled Sesame Street. She bandaged Elmo's knee and helped him up. She said, I think your knee is all right, Elmo. Try to walk a little. Harry and I will take you home. Elmo feels okie dokie now, says Elmo. Then we put the bikes into the trunk of the police car and took Elmo home. I said to Officer Diaz, helping people makes me feel strong and brave. She laughed and said, then you feel just like a police officer. Would you like to join me on patrol today? Wow, thanks, I said, I sure would. Off we sped on patrol and we found a big, exciting parade. It's a motorcade, said Officer Diaz. Someone very important must be visiting Sesame Street. Our important visitor was riding in a big black limousine. Police officers on horses rode behind the limo and beside it. In front were officers on motorcycles. Vroom, vroom. That does sound exciting. We followed the motorcade and learned that our important visitor was the First Lady of the United States. She's married to the President. The First Lady had come to meet the kids on Sesame Street. Officer Diaz introduced me to a policeman on a horse. Officer Travis is his name, and he let me pet his horse, whose name is Chrissy. Chrissy is a police horse, but just like any other horse, she likes carrots. Officer Travis gave me one to feed her. Officer Travis wore high, shiny boots and a special riding helmet. He looked really spiffy. I asked, how did you become a police officer? Or pardon me, how did you become a policeman, Officer Travis? After high school, I went to the police academy, he explained. It's a special school where students learn to be officers. When you're old enough, you could go there. You could go there too, Harry. And I said, really? Think of that. Wow. Then Officer Diaz took me to the police station. She said, Harry, meet a very special officer. Well, you could have knocked me over with a feather. The very special officer was a police dog named Willie. His partner was named Officer Laredo. She said, Willie goes everywhere with me. He uses his keen nose and ears to help me in my police work. Officer Laredo showed us the police scooter that she and Willie ride around town. Willie sits here, there on the front seat next to Officer Laredo. One of the few things Willie doesn't know how to do is <laughs> drive. I'm glad he doesn't know how to drive. Officer Diaz and I took off on patrol again. We got a call from the station house on the car radio. The call said, lost child at Sesame and Vine. We zoomed through the streets. Sure enough, at the corner of Sesame and Vine was a little lost monster. I want my mommy, he cried. I want to go home. Officer Diaz held the little monster's hand. She asked his name. He said it was Max.
Max. Where did you last see your mommy? asked Officer Diaz. I don't remember, said Max. He was still crying. Officer Diaz called, calmed Max down. Where did you get the ice cream cone, sweetheart? She asked. I don't remember, said Max, crying. Then Officer Diaz said, there, there, Max, it's all right. May I look at your napkin? The napkin said, Hooper's store. We hurried to Hooper's store. There was Max's mommy. Max had wandered out the door by himself when she wasn't looking. Max's mommy was so glad to find her son that she hugged him all, uh, pardon me, she hugged all of us, even Officer Diaz. <laughs> we were happy for Max and his mommy. And now it was time to take a break. We sat down and I tried on Officer Diaz's hat and badge. She said, Harry, my hat and badge suit you nicely. Terrific, I said, because when I grow up, I want to be a police officer. That was a good story. Now remember, I want to hear what you would like to be when you grow up. Who do you think the characters were in this book? Wait a minute. What's the setting? Where did this story happen? And what are occupations? What was Harry's responsibility? He was very responsible that day, wasn't he? I bet you're responsible too. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time right here on Booze Clues. Bye everybody.